Chapter 4 The next day, when Harriet went to the big stump at the edge of the cow pasture, flying low and cautiously, she found a tin, a tin pie plate of meat scraps and kibble cat food waiting for her. The girl from Overhill Farm was also watching for her, sitting about 20 feet away from the stump and holding very still. Susan Brown was her name, and she was eight years old. She watched Harriet fly out of the woods and hover like a fat hummingbird over the stump and then settle down. Fold her wings neatly and eat. Susan Brown held her breath. Her eyes grew round. The next day, Harriet and Roger flew cautiously out of the woods and hovered over the stump. Susan was sitting about 15 feet away, and beside her sat her 12-year-old brother Hank. He had not believed a word she said about flying cats. Now his eyes were perfectly round, and he was holding his breath. Harriet and Roger settled down to eat. You didn't say there were two of them, Hank whispered to his sister. Harriet and Roger sat on the stump, licking their whiskers clean. You didn't say there were two of them, Roger whispered to his sister. I didn't know. Both the sisters whispered back. There was only one yesterday, but they look nice, don't they? The next day, Hank and Susan put out two pie tins of cat dinner on the stump and then went ten steps away. They sat down in the grass and waited. Harriet flew boldly from the woods and aligned on the stump. Roger followed her. Then, oh look, Susan whispered. Came Thelma flying very slowly with a disapproving expression on her face. And finally, oh, oh look, Susan whispered. James, flying low and lame, flapping over to the stump, landed on it and began to eat. He ate and ate. And ate. He even growled once at Thelma, who moved to the other python. The two children watched the four winged cats. Harriet, quite full, washed her face and watched the children. Thelma finished a last tasty kibble, washed her front paws, and gazed at the children. Suddenly, she flew up from the stump and straight at them. They ducked as she went over. She flew right around both their heads and then back to the stump. Testing, she said to Harriet, James, and Roger. If she does it again, don't catch her, Hank said to Susan. It'd scare her off. You think I'm stupid? Susan hissed. The cats sat still. Cows ate grass nearby. The sun shone. Kitty, Susan said in a soft, high-pitched voice. Kitty. Kitty, 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 Kitty wings, kitty wings, cat wings. Harriet jumped off the stump into the air, performed a cartwheel, and flew loop-de-loop -loop over to Susan. She landed on Susan's shoulder and sat there, holding on tight and purring in Susan's ears. Never, never, ever catch you, or cage you, or do anything you don't want to, me to do, Susan said to Harriet. I promise. Hank. You promise to? said Harriet. I promise, and will never ever tell anybody else, Hank said rather fiercely. Ever, because you know how people are. If people saw them, I promise, Susan said. She and Hank shook hands promisingly. Roger flew gracefully down and landed on Hank's shoulder. Rrr, said Roger. They could live in the old barn, Susan said. Nobody ever goes there but us. There's that dovecote up in the loft with all those holes in the wall where the doves slew in and out. We could take hay up there and make them a place to sleep, Hank said. Prrr, said Roger. Very softly and gently, Hank raised his hand and stroked Roger right between the wings. Oh, James said watching. He jumped down off the stump and came trotting over to the children. He sat down near Susan's shoes, very softly and gently. Susan reached down and scratched James under the, under the chin and behind the ears. Rrr, James said, and drooled a little on Susan's shoe. Oh well, said Thelma, having cleaned up the last of the cold roast beef. She rose in the air, flew over with great dignity, sat right down on Hank's lap, 
folded her wings and said, Purr, purr, purr. Oh, Hank, Susan whispered, their wings are furry. Oh, James, Harriet whispered, their hands are kind. And there is cat wings. Thank you.